Welcome to Ramble 15, everybody. Uh, I'm currently suffering with a little bit of allergies right now, but I figured I'd make a ramble this morning and kind of go over um, the the clue high scores, basically. That's something I haven't touched on in, I don't know, at least two months. I haven't even shown what's happened in the past, you know, 53 days since I've stopped actively going for clues. Um, so when I started Nightmare, uh, I haven't really given a clear picture of what the high scores look like. And somebody's asked, and, you know, I figured I'd make a little video of it. So first, uh, well, right now I'm just buying Realism's Bombs for Nightmare. I've been doing some Nightmares off stream. I am currently, um, s let's see, I've done about 590 solos at this point. Um, or like 585, I'd say. I think 120 ish have been team, and I'm actually I have a picture loaded up. I can show you guys what my loot is so far. I'm not sure if I've shown that in previous videos, but this is what the loot looks like of the. This is everything minus 65, and 65 of the nightmares were. Um, well, f I don't know how it happened, but Runelight deleted seven of my KCs. I don't really. I'm not exactly sure how that happened, but it happened like a month ago. Um, but I started Nightmare, like this grind that I've been doing for the past almost two months. I started at 58 KC. And um, and those were all kind of like just jumbles at on like on release when who knows what the drop rates were, were really like. So I kind of just, I don't know. I don't really think about the first 58 I did. But since then... I um, mean, you can see the big bones, 618, but even when I did duos and five mans, I'd usually get uh, the MVP anyway. So that's not a true indicator of the solos I've done, but I'd say I've done about 585 solos and then the rest, the 65 other ones, and then the other 65 that aren't on here, I would say are, um, or 65 or no, sorry, 55. Those are all um, just a jumble of duos, five mans, other things like that. So that's what I'm looking at. I wouldn't say I'm dry at all. Like I'm, if I get an item, I'm on rate, and so I can't really complain. I've gotten items, and so that's kind of good. The issue is like I got dupes. Like the first, the first four things I got was I got a staff, and then a halberd, and then a halberd, and then a staff, and it was like all right, because. It's not just, like, this looks like, oh, that's not bad. But, I mean, that's a fuck ton of hours. Like, it really is. And so, um, and all I, literally, all I see on, like, my Discord, people posting pictures. Every streamer is getting lucky. Like, everyone has a mace or a harm orb or full inquisitor. Like, everyone just gets so lucky. So, like, I wouldn't even say I'm unlucky. It's just I compare myself to just absolute spoons, and it's, like, painful. Most people spoon Nightmare. It's pretty I've, – I've noticed, like, everyone spoons Nightmare. There's – it's pretty crazy, actually, if you think about it because um, uh, basically, I mean, I'd, I'd assume – like, I don't know exactly, obviously. I don't think anyone knows, but – um. Where the hell did the guy go? Oh, there he is. Um, damn, he was I was in, he was invisible to me. Uh, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, so I don't know how many Inquisitors maces are in the game, like for irons. Like how many Iron Men have an Inquisitors mace? Because uh, I'd honestly be curious. I I would doubt there's more than fifty Iron Men with a mace. In fact, I'd almost say there's probably less than thirty, but I'm not positive. But out of those people, like, out of the people that have a mace, whatever the number is, I'd be very, very surprised if any of them have gone over the rate for the mace. Like, I'm pretty sure every single person, every single Ironman that owns a mace probably got it l under drop rate. Um, I actually want to show the Nightmare High scores right now. Now, Nightmare High scores, unfortunately, and this is for Irons, keep in mind. Nightmare high scores, unfortunately, do not, they don't, like, have a perfect representation of, like, how many people have actually done. Because 
You know, you could be doing masses, hopefully not. But most of these are probably five mans. Um, I know like a few people in here have done a lot of solos, but it's just, it sucks that you can't really tell what their rate is. But um, Venom right here, rank one, Iron Man, he does not have a mace. And he is, he is past drop rate, unless he did like 80 mans, which obviously he didn't do, I'm assuming. But um, yeah, it's pretty crazy. Like the only people, unless like somebody in these has done like almost all solos, basically everyone below Good Luck I'm Tom, everyone below that isn't even rate for Mace. And I'm assuming quite a few of them probably have one. So, I don't know why I'm really going there, but I, it's it's similar to, like, um, when Iron Man first started doing Corp, and, you know, you'd see Curtis. Like, Curtis was the one that, like, that was streaming. He was a big-time streamer and, you know, streaming Corp, and people were just like, oh, my gosh, he's so unlucky. Like, he's just, he he went so long to get an Ellie, 6,000, like, 20 or what or 6060 or whatever it was for his ellie like so unlucky like to be completely honest he actually overall he went lucky on corp actually like if you're talking about pet and everything so we haven't even hit like a good enough um sample size basically to know you know to see true dryness basically is what i'm saying so like most people that you see at corp like most iron man you see at corp most iron man you see at nightmare they all spoon stuff um but then you see like n other bosses like bosses where like a ton of people can go over eight because it's not a fuck ton of hours like let's say bryophyta bryophyta is a lot of hours but like there's a bigger sample size just because um like you see people like you see rice cup he went like almost six times the rate i want to say like you see that shit like that is like okay really really bad things can happen at nightmare in court but we just haven't seen it yet because nobody's even gotten to that point venom's past mace rate he doesn't even have full inquisitors yet with this kc i'm pretty sure um he's just this is just somebody that somebody linked his um uh, his log in in my chat the other it's like a week ago or something and he had like 12 staves and like five or like at least eight duplicate inquisitors and he doesn't even have the full set i think he's missing the helmet just it's just really unlucky but like that shit happens we just don't have a big enough sample size to see true like pain you know anyway so um i'm not even on the high scores so i'm only 705 kc so anyway but if if I had only done five mans, let's say, like basically I've done almost 600 solos, which means times that by five, that's 3,000 five mans. So I would really be up here. I'd probably be, I, I would probably be in the top, you know, 15 if I had done five mans, but just time wise, I guess. But I can't really say time wise either because uh, the people that do five mans, they do have a lot of waiting around for people. They, they're, Doing five five mans is slower as well than doing one solo, but just rate wise, I I would be up here with these guys. But I've I've just stuck to solos and they actually have a poll blog. I don't know when exactly that's going live, the poll, but they're actually polling the nightmare pet to make it a one in eight hundred in a solo and then scale it directly by there. So like a a, a two man would be one in 1600, three man, one in 2400, four man, one in 3200, and then five man and up would just be one in 4000. So I'm excited about that. I'm pretty sure it'll pass. I, don't, I can't see why it wouldn't, especially because like, like uh, there's probably some people that are salty that they'd make that change. Maybe if they did a bunch of solos and then got their pet super late, but like the majority of people I'm pretty sure are going to, uh, vote yes to that so i am excited in a way um but like i don't really care about the pet really anyway so we'll kind of move on from nightmare while i buy the rest of these or listen to bombs because i'm pretty sure i'll be here for a while i'm currently 
146 solos dry and yeah it's just not fun i went 200 and like two dry for my dupe halberk like a month ago that was just awful so now i'm 1.5 the rate of another item which is just awful because it's just so many hours but anyway i kind of want to go now into well we'll just go into the meat of it i am still rank one elites for irons i am i looked at this about like two weeks ago and i was actually very surprised that i maintained my rank one i've done maybe i mean i made a video when i hit a thousand like i, I hit a thousand in july or no, I hit a thousand elites in, yeah, very very early July I want to say. Anyway, so I don't really have much competition at all. I don't have competition. We'll just say that. Now Iron Eyes has slowly been creeping up. Lawn just, they, Mieka de Ironed Curtis and like just nobody nobody competes. So basically, if I can get a mace before drop rate. Hopefully, hopefully before 1,200 solos, I can never have lost my rank 1 elites. And that would be kind of nice because... Oh, shit, I forgot the ring. Anyway, um, yeah, I haven't lost it. And my plan after I get a mace is to just kill a metric fuck ton of Serachnus. And that, in turn, will like obviously increase my lead. And then I'll actually become rank 1 for all accounts for elites because uh let's actually take a look I, i'm not sure on this um yeah this is like so easy they have not done like anything like i'm gonna be rank one in the entire game like pretty easily once i get a mace i just need to get a mace first and um but yeah, I'm gonna be. I'm basically just gonna be rank one elite, like rank one elite man for years, if everything plays out right, and they don't come out with some weird main meta to get elite clue scrolls quickly and cheaply. Like I don't know, I just don't see elites ever being like a super sought after like rank or just people hunting elites. They're just too fucking expensive for mains. Anyway, so kind of cool that i haven't lost rank one i also want to show you the hards odd hardy finally opened all his hard well not all of them but opened quite a few he's at six thousand sixty. so uh, yeah that rank one hard grind yeah um i mean we i mean it's just i'm just i can't focus on it like the green dragon the little time i had with the green dragons it was fun i mean i'm rank seven hards it was fun, but I just realized, you know, a month into doing it, like, this is not, like, macro. It's fun and all. Like, I get a hard clues. Like, I get, like, four an hour. Just fun. Stacking up a bunch of dehyde and bones. But it just wasn't enough for me. Like, I needed to be, like, really macro with it. Because if I just did a bunch of hard clues and then I was like, oh, now time to move on to elites. If I wanted to do elites the most efficient way, which is Thrakness, I'd get a ton of passive hards anyway. So it's like, I need to combine the two. So anyway, Freegen's way up there. He got third age fan braces, if you guys didn't know. So he finally got his first third age. He also completed full gilded, which is kite shield, full helm, plate body, plate legs. Completed full gilded, first Iron Man to do so. Very nice. And... I want to say or i'm not okay i know so hey jace also got van braces hey jace also got now he's a main who the hell cares but he is a collection log person so um you know it's it's still respectable to go for like third age in the log anyway he got third age plate legs the one piece that would just have been incredible for me so mutt's got a third age plate legs as well like three months or two two or three months ago and then hey jace just got his second piece of third age and odd hottie still at one piece but yeah that's that's just unfortunate anyway so um cool thing is is with seracnus i know i've already gone through it but that is a passive 7500 hards i will do like over up 
ton of time, obviously. So just passively, I'll I'll nearly get to 10k hards, which is kind of cool, just from doing elites. Anyway, and then I'll show you the all. Um, rank 10. Haven't really lost many ranks. Not really many people go for clue scroll ranks, as you can tell. There's there's like it's a it's a big niche for um, Iron Man. Venonatus, shout out him. He is rank one, all clue scrolls, which is pretty fucking impressive. Literally over double the clue scrolls I've done, which is just crazy. If you guys think I sweat clue scrolls, like Venonatus just goes ham. And I'm pretty sure he probably has a lot of them stacked as well. Because um, he also is a stack Andy. I don't know how many he has stacked or if he has any or if he just mass opened them. But anyway, he is like a huge clue enthusiast he's i always see him in hey jace's chat and he comes into mine so it's always fun having him jt ultimate iron man rank three i think he was maybe he was ranked i want to say he was ranked two at one point i can't remember but he's an ultimate at rank three which is fucking nuts iron man daff is the guy that did ten thousand easies randomly he's rank one easies he just randomly Open 10,000 fucking easies like three months ago. He just came out of nowhere. Anyway, so that's pretty crazy. But, um, and then I want to show you. Strackness. <laughs> nothing has happened here. Like, just nothing. There's n <laughs> nothing that happened. So, I'm, I have zero worries about ever losing this rank one. Even if I never did any more Strackness, I'm pretty sure I'd never lose it. I don't know if anyone else is like, I don't know. Anyway, this number, 16,000, is going to get a lot higher. A lot higher. It's just like, just overkilling, just the high scores. And let's see the mains, actually, where they're at. Um, 23,000. I'm ranked three for overall mains. Dodo, Kip, I'm going to pass him. Easy. I wonder what he'll do when I pass him because I feel like he kind of has, it, it's weird. He's a main, but like he has sim, he has like a similar mindset, I'm pretty sure, where he's just like, he doesn't, he just does it for clues, like obviously. He, he went really dry for his pet. I think he went like 15K for his pet. And then he uh, just continued to do it to get, I'm pretty sure he doesn't have a bloodhound or something like that. Anyway, I'm going to pass everyone. I'm going to just skyrocket. I'm going to be like, I, it's going to be funny. Like, you're going to look at the high scores. And you, I remember when boss high scores first came out, there was like the Zora guy that had killed like 130,000 Zora. And everyone's like, uh, what the fuck? Like, this is a bot. This is a gold, gold farmer. People are going to think I'm a gold farmer or a clue farmer, we'll say. Anyway, that's a long time coming. You know, who knows when the hell I'm going to get this mace. Who knows just how long the Saragnus grind will be. And also who knows what might happen in the game that will devalue clues or just give different methods for it that may be a little bit faster than we currently have. So anyway, um, kind of cool. I just wanted to give you guys a little look at you know what's been happening um i wanted to i don't know if it was another thing i wanted to look at but oh yeah i do want to look at oh yeah that was the other thing mimics i want to show you mimics as well so masters slayer king v2 is just a fucking animal at masters i like dude he he was not rank one he was like rank like five and just in, like, I, I'm pretty sure he's just hunting Bloodhound. I'm hoping because, like, what the hell is he doing? Like, he he has to just not have a Bloodhound yet. That's why he's going so hard on him. But he is the only guy that's passed me in Mimics as well because he just does his Masters. And every 15 Masters is a Mimic, basically. So, anyway, I'm not even on the top. I am rank 32. So, 345 but i will get 1500 masters passively which is kind of cool so obviously over a lot of time i wonder if that'll put me at, i probably will not put me at rank one but 
that'll put me really close to 2k masters and remember this is like over a long time but just the course of 300,000 Seracnus that'll get me who's this guy that was nice that was humble that was not plant like trust I didn't plant that guy now that was just that was completely random shout out shout out Barzel um okay anyway then the last thing I wanted to show was the mimics because I am fuck dude oh shit I'm actually disease is actually getting really close to me now I thought I had a, I thought I had plenty of time to I, I thought I had like a huge lead but apparently not anyway Slayer King's way up there getting one mimic takes so many hours so but if Slayer King, you know, gets his Bloodhound soon, and if, I don't know what disease is doing, maybe he's going for Bloodhound too. People just care about pets. I don't know what it is. People just love their pets, and then they just, I don't know, they're just pet hunt antes, I guess. I just, I'm more into, like, you know, clue completion, third age. Nobody cares about it. They just care about their damn Bloodhound. Anyway, I'm going to get rank one Mimic as well. Hopefully I get the third age ring as well i still don't have that and i'm past rate for it anyway um yeah that was kind of what the ramble was gonna be on uh so hopefully that informed some of you that were kind of curious on the high scores how they look right now i still have my two rank ones that i had two and a half months ago three months ago so kind of cool and we'll see if I lose it or not. Lose the oh, I'm not I'm not gonna lose rank one Seracnus, but I might lose rank one elites if I don't get my mace quick enough. But yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will be live tomorrow. I just past two days my allergies have just been really acting up. Every morning I wake up I'm just like oh gosh, you know I don't know if any of you guys suffer with allergies. It's really annoying to wake up and just be sneezing and have like a puffy freaking face almost just from sleeping i don't know i don't know i don't even know what it is i think it's um i think i'm allergic to dust mites but like we've deep cleaned our apartment and like vacuumed we've even um like changed out uh well, in the last apartment we lived, we actually had to get the entire carpet replaced because of like there was like pet dandruff and stuff. Anyway, I'm allergic to cats, but I mean we don't have any animals here, and I want to say I'm allergic to dust mites. I don't think I'm allergic to anything seasonal, just just dust mites. So, um, but like we've dusted, we've vacuumed a bunch, washed all our bedding, washed the couches upstairs, and it's just. I don't know what it is. I might be allergic to something else. But it's pretty annoying just waking up and just it's hard to it's like there's some days I'm just I wake up fine and then there's days that are just really bad. It's always weird. It's always like in the mornings too. Like I don't know if that's just from if that's just like a coincidence of me waking up or like if there's something about the morning hours, but I don't think I'm allergic to anything seasonal, which is just strange. But it's always in the mornings. Like, it's just really bad allergies. Anyway, enough about my fucking issues. I will catch you guys tomorrow, hopefully. And we'll be doing some more Nightmare. And I'll be fully prepped. I'm also going to be buying some Blood Runes later on. And just wasting the rest of my money at the Wildy Shop buying Blood Runes. So please don't PK me. And yeah, hope you guys have a good day.